Hi you guys. Today is Sunday and it is July 16th, 2023. It's 7.32 p.m. here in Texas. This reading is for anyone who has clicked on it. It doesn't matter what sign you are. Do not let that take you off, off guard. Um, if This is for the viewers of this reading. I'm going to tell you the significant signs that show up during the reading. But you could be any sign. Spirits, what do the viewers of this reading need to know? The viewers of this reading, what do they need to know, spirits? This is the Wheel of Fortune tarot deck. The first card you've got is the Three of Swords. And then you have the Ace of Cups. It looks like something, something painful happened with the Three of Swords, but there's something good literally right behind this, you guys. If So if you're sitting in this Three of Swords energy and you're feeling heartbroken about something or something painful is hurting your heart, there's a blessing right behind it. And then you have the hangman. This is Pisces energy. The king of swords. And the center card of your reading is going to be the five of cups. The eight of wands. I'm going to go back and clarify the cards and we'll figure out exactly what's going on. And then you have the Eight of Swords. The Two of Cups. The Queen of Cups. On the bottom of the deck you have the Hermit, Virgo energy, and the Knight of Swords. All right, so let's see what's happening here. Why is the Three of Swords here, Spirits? You have the Five of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. I feel like you could have received some type of information or a message here that has caused you heartbreak with the Page of Pentacles. And this could have been, it's showing up as Pentacles right here. Like this could have, something could have hurt you financially for some of you. And I'm seeing an argument taking place here. But take what messages resonate and leave the rest you guys. But there's someone here that's ice cold this person, they don't care who they hurt. They just want to win. So there's a, there's a particular person here that's in your energy that has done something here. And it's very sharp, very cold. Why is the Ace of Cups here? You have the Lovers, Gemini energy. The Ten of Swords. This this person is someone that you love. The Lovers is Gemini energy. But I'm seeing someone making a choice. Alright? Because the Lovers is the choice. There is love here that that is shared between the two of you. But this person... I feel like they could have manipulated a situation here with the magician. They did something. They they literally did something here and now their choice is making is making them feel very hurt also. It's not the pain is not just coming from your side. The pain is also coming 
from this person. This ending is really hurting whoever this is. And then you have the hangman. Why is the hangman here? So spirits are telling you right now your advice is to take a look at the... There's a bigger picture here that you need to look at. There's something more to the story here than... Um, than this person's words. I'm seeing, I'm actually seeing a happy home, a happy family here with the Ten of Cups. So this person, whether this is a family, a home, there could even be a child here between the two of you. There's a lot of happiness here. This person sees you as their Ten of Cups. I feel like this is a direct message for somebody here, but I feel like there's there's someone here that has taken some type of action with the Knight of Cups towards someone else, not you, but towards someone else. Some something that they say, something that they do, it's kind of flirty. And the person that they that actually received this message or this feeling from this person, they actually don't have any interest in it. And then you have the King of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. And so I'm feeling like you're really up in your head about this with the King of Swords. Oh yeah, there's a there's an argument here. The King and the Queen of Swords. You both spoke your mind to each other. Why is the King of Swords here? But the person that you're dealing with, they're really up in their head about this argument. I'm seeing here that, it, that this has hurt you too. This person appeared very cold. I want to find out more about this person because I'm getting like back and forth energy from them. Tell me more about the Five of Swords. It's like they did something painful to you. They said something, but yet at the same time, they're feeling very hurt. They're feeling betrayed. Why is the Five of Swords here? The Ten of Wands. Whoever this is, they had to get some some weight off of their chest here with the Ten of Wands. There's a very heavy energy that this person carries around. And I'm seeing two tens here. And there could be little to no communication right now. There could be... Like this person could be ignoring messages or something like that. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Yeah, this person seems to have lost some type of confidence here with the Nine of Swords. And they're really up in their head about something that they did here that was deceiving to you. They're showing up as the Seven of Swords, and they're really up in their head. They keep thinking about this, and they they feel like they literally did something here they cannot take back. They made some type of a decision, a head-over-heart decision, actually. But I, I'm seeing them being doing something here that was sneaky, manipulative, And it looks like you found out. You you could have found out from a third party. 
someone in your family. This reading is very specific to someone. In the center of your reading, you have the Five of Cups. And so this person's very hurt. And you're feeling very sad here about what has been lost. Like, but I still see the Two of Cups standing up here. The love between the two of you is still here. And the Two of Cups is right here beneath it also. But there's something in this connection that has been spilled out and is gone with these three cups spilled out. And I'm feeling like it's a, it's a trust issue. Why is the Five of Cups here? The star is Aquarius energy, and then you have the Page of Cups. Whoever this particular person is, I'm seeing them coming back and wanting to reconcile with you. I see a message showing up right here with the Page of Cups. And they're wanting to heal whatever happened here, whatever this argument is, whatever they said. This person wants to fix it. This person still has hope. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles. They're moving very, very slow here. This could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. They're moving very, very slowly here towards you because I feel like the communication could have been broken down here. But once they start talking, they're going to start talking very, very quickly here with the Eight of Wands. I'm seeing a lot of messages going back and forth between the two of you. Why is the Eight of Wands here? And someone could actually be traveling too. But I'm seeing messages. So the Eight of Wands. See, this, is, this could even be a blended family. With the Ten of Pentacles. Um, but this is this is a family member. This is someone that you love. Death, Scorpio energy, and then you have judgment. So something here within this family, it's like there's an ending taking place with death, but I'm seeing judgment like raising this back up from the dead this person's making a judgment call here that whoever this is they want their family back they want their ten of pentacles back this is their life this is everything this is the reason they get up in the morning this family it's everything to this person and after the after you receive these messages from this person i'm feeling like it's something that whatever they have to say here i cannot tell you exactly what they're going to say um but because we all have different situations here but i'm seeing you being up in your head feeling blindfolded and really thinking about this conversation these messages let's see if we can get more specifically what you're up in your head about here you have the empress taurus energy the fool aries energy and you have the devil capricorn I do feel like this is risky because we have the devil here, which I'm going to clarify. But there's some type of a risk being taken here that you're thinking about. And it has to do with there's something in this connection where you're both 
in a comfortable position with yourselves, with each other. You both feel comfortable with each other. For some reason or another, you're both dependent on each other. And I'm seeing you up in your head here about saying, okay, I'm just going to do this in a reconciliation. And the Empress is here. We can grow. We can, we can fix this. And that's why the next card we have is the Two of Cups. The two of you possibly coming back together again here. Let me um, clarify this. But this is what's on your mind here. But I'm seeing you looking at both sides of it. Whether you can grow as the Empress. And or whether this is just toxic, you know. And considering whether to take a leap of faith with the fool and not really knowing where this is going to go. If you can trust again. Why is the two of cups here? See, going back and forth about this. King of cups. And the three. Yeah, I mean, we're moving here from um, going back and forth in the mind about whether or not to come back together again. But I don't know what this person did, but whoever this person is, they may have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in their chart. You're showing up here as the King and the Queen of Cups once again. All right, so those two cups coming back together again and this love between the two of you coming back together once more. But this person does truly love you and they're wanting to build a stable foundation again. This person does not want to lose you again. They don't want to let you slip through their fingers again. And you're showing up here as the Queen of Cups. So this is someone that you have love for. This is a soul connection. For some of you, this could be a child. When the Six of Cups shows up. Why is the Queen of Cups here? It's almost like this person could possibly put you know be living at a distance from you with the three of wands and um i see this person just you know it's like they want to turn their back on what happened and they want this wheel of fortune to go back to the way it used to be, the happiness that used to be, and a reconciliation with the Three of Cups. So let me clarify the last two cards that we have here. You have the Hermit and the Knight of Swords. Tell me why the Hermit is here. We have Le we have Libra energy justice on the bottom of the deck. Why is the hermit here? I feel like you could have went silent on this person, but I'm seeing you really questioning yourself on this one, like really looking for answers from your higher self on what to do here. Maybe even praying to the divine. Why the five of pentacles? And like I said, I'm seeing pages here like there could be children involved here or a child. And maybe feeling a lack of money or feeling ghosted, feeling left out in the cold. But I'm seeing um, there's some, some type of message here that you're waiting for. And I'm seeing you receiving it. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The King of Swords. 
the moon and the five swords and the two of you coming back together again the two of cups this person's just moving excessively slow here in the knight of pentacles energy I'm definitely seeing someone who lied here coming back and telling you the truth. They're really up in their head. They're up in their emotions here about the words that they said to you, the words that they spoke to you. And um, I'm seeing them like their energy here is literally like growing up at this at this place in time because they went from this knight of swords where they were just running and jabbing 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 saying things they shouldn't say without even thinking about it without even caring about what they said to the king of swords here and the moon where they're they're wanting to look at this realistically now and come out of the darkness All right. let's go through the signs if if you're dealing with an Aries what is the message Aries wants to send to the viewers of this reading you have, I want to tell you how I feel. Leo, it was my fault, but I blamed you. I bury myself in work to forget you. Sagittarius, I wish I could share my good news with you. Aquarius, so many things remind me of you. Libra. Just being being near you is intoxicating. Gemini. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Taurus. I remember every detail of that day. Virgo, I don't really know you. Capricorn, I wish I could take back my words. Pisces, I want to tell you so much. Cancer, I want to tell, I want to feel that way again. Scorpio. It's time for me to heal now. On the bottom of the deck, we have you're so easy to see through. Someone feels like they can see through you and how you feel um that's what i'm picking up on you guys um let me grab your moonology cards for advice you have prosperity lies ahead new moon in taurus and luck is on your side new moon in sagittarius all right, thank you guys for being here with me. And um, I love you guys, and I will see you later. Namaste.